Guys, 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 I'm about to meet someone very special. You may have seen Brandon in my Instagram stories or at the end of my YouTube videos. He is the combat medic that is a volunteer and we helped him raise enough money to buy a 4x4 ambulance which he started to use to evacuate people on the front line of Don Donbass, Donetsk. They called her at 12 a.m. last night. Anya, evacuate us. And she's like, what were you thinking all this time? So she has to run at 12 o'clock in the night as a down of her to speak to them. Are they coming, yes or no? So we're gonna load the bags. Leave the water. Give me the water. No, you're going you're going you're going to the west. West has water, east has huilo. People who come, get food, get water, get beds, leave all this for people who stay. There you go. Так, ты что, мы можем маленькую собачку взять? Ее же и на поезд можно посадить и поселиться с ней, это не проблема. And he's rescued at least dozens, maybe hundreds of people now. But unfortunately, last week, the car exploded. He hit a Russian landmine. Ah! Oh my God, my God, fuck, fuck. I'm alive, get my med. Korva? Korva? Yeah, okay. Good, good. Who am I? Canadian volunteer, hospitaliere, but now I do evacuate civilni. Okay. Who is Ukrainian friends? Civilians. Why you drive is this? We have 15 civilians. Uh, we have, okay, we work, well, I, I have evacuated uh, Novolagansk, uh, Kodemma, uh, Kurdomivka, um, around like Svitlodarsk, yeah. you understand? We work all Soledar. Um, and tonight we went to, please. No, I show you. This is, there's 15 people and two volunteers. Okay. Luckily he's okay, but he just got to the hospital. Good morning, guys. My body is quite fine. Uh, there's some small cuts in my back and my neck, yeah. but it's mostly just my head. And my hearing's gone uh, in my right ear. I know what I will do, but I don't know when I'll do it. Um, I will be going back to the front and I will continue with the evacuation work. But when I go will be when I'm ready, when I am know I'm capable and I'm an asset to everybody. And if that takes two weeks, that takes two weeks. You know, I always film with the camera in my chest rig. You know, I don't have a GoPro, it's just an iPhone. And I get what I get. And some people say I have the best content. But I've only ever done that for one reason. And it's paid for everything. Uh, the vehicles, the, the food, the... Yeah. Nobody who's ever with me goes hungry. Um, Thank you. Luckily he's okay, but he just got to the hospital and he's hungry. And I said, the least we can do is treat him to a nice dinner. So let's go. So Brandon's in some kind of truck, but I have no idea which one it is or what it looks like. One time, Johnny. This guy brought you, <laughs> you stuck up on me. I just thought, I, I didn't know what to do. I just I just thought maybe I'd caress you. And... I know, well, actually, I think you need the back massage. You're the one I got out. Uh, you okay? Yeah, 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 don't waste time. So, oh. I, so they leave them in so they can give you more. I busted out of hospital, oh. baby. So you're not supposed to leave? Yeah. Uh, but you gotta eat. I'm so. just a dumb foreigner. I don't, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's me, Jay. I, I didn't pay too much. Yeah. Where'd you park? Uh, I'll say it. Right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Well, so everyone wants to know, what happened to your the car? Uh, blew up. It hit a landmine. Uh, it hit two mines. Uh huh. And. In Ukraine, uh, Ukraine tends to reclaim things. Yes. And uh, it got blown up some more. Uh huh. What do you mean got blown up some more? Uh, well, it was. It's called the beaten zone, where machine gun like uh -huh. this train, 
and they had a they had a pissing contest uh, okay. Russia and Ukraine uh -huh. between my truck. Oh no! So you just got and you were there evacuating people, or why were you there? Well, yeah, we were doing an evacuation in Knopf. That's uh, East Solodar. No, uh -huh. no one really goes there anymore. Um, and uh, yeah, then. I hit the mines and the army drugged me out and I've never seen the truck since. Wow, is it, do you think it's destroyed or? It's, it was pretty, it was, oh, I can't swear because it's your channel. You can swear a little bit. Yeah, okay, it was yeah. pretty fucked when I saw it. I can imagine. When I last saw it. Oh, and yeah. that was the truck, was that the truck that we helped you buy? Yeah. You know what, it did its job. Yeah. How, how many how many evacuations do you think you've done out there? Uh, how many people in total? Personally. Well, when, when shit really hits the fan, uh -huh. we can fit about 17 people in it. Okay. So if you added it up, it'd be, it'd be in the hunt. It'd be 200 easy. People? Wow, well, add some like, dogs. No, but over a couple of weeks, it adds wow. up. Sometimes you get one person, sometimes you go and you get no one. Wow. But when it's real screwed, they'll, okay. they'll come. You know what? It was worth it. Like, blow up as many of these no, as you no, We got another one because we, we, we got two and that, that Oleg just loaned that to me. So uh -huh. that's, that's the other one that we fundraise and we donated to Hospitalia's um, directly to Battalion. But now he's got another truck. Okay. So he said, keep that as long as I need it. Nice. So I will get another one and I will give it back. But I, I mean- So we have this on loan now? We're ready to roll, yeah. Nice. That's, that's one of the ones we went to Germany to get. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, cause, okay. So for anyone who doesn't remember this story, it, it, was, it was amazing. Uh, we got connected to you, maybe Vladim and Cynthia, or who? I'll tell you how it happened, yeah. because I, I, I met you through Bald, uh, as, as many people I, probably Just did. like watching my videos. Watching your videos okay. before the war, and I knew that I only started social media two months into the war, uh -huh. my war. Yeah. And, and then it was just basically, who, who likes Ukraine? And I, I messaged you, I was, in, I was on an ambulance crew then, I said, would you give me a shout? Like, I didn't even know how Instagram worked. I had uh. Instagram for two days, but I said, if anybody famous would, maybe you would. Okay. And then you sent the money and I didn't even ask you to send, like I was sending you a voice message, say, wait till I get to Kiev. And, yeah. And I just wanted helmets for our team. But yeah. It, it turned into vehicles, generators, and probably over 40,000 euros. So wow. Far. Like on, on, it's either been spent on projects or still going. That's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, okay. it's mental. So this is how it happened from, from what I remember. Your perspective. Yeah. I was helping as many people as I could, like, do friends that I knew, mm -hmm. and it was mostly with food, you know, medicine, kind of humanitarian stuff, and at some point, I remember thinking, like, I wish we could do more to people actually on the front, you guys are taking all the risks, um, and this was before I met any, you know, I had any connections with any military guys, mm -hmm. and when I saw you were, you were basically saving these guys' lives, you know, because everybody at the front is a hero in Ukraine, and you're basically giving you guys a second chance, you know? And I was like, okay, the least we can do is make sure you guys don't die in the process. So when you asked for helmets, I was, at first I was like, I can't believe they don't have helmets, number one. And second, I can't believe, um, I can't say no to this. And I guess as clarification, the reason, like some people are gonna use this like uh, as a time to say, well, there's millions of dollars going to Ukraine, why don't they have helmets? It's a logistical thing. And the millions of dollars goes to, you know, like anti-tank weapons. It mostly goes to weapons, but things like clothes, helmets, boots, unfortunately, that's kind of up to individuals, especially for volunteers. Well, it's the biggest problem since World War II. There's disorganization on a massive scale. I've only learned about medical, like, I didn't know what happened to them after we, we sent them off, because uh -huh. I'm probably the second line from point of injury. And now I've been to Dnipro, mm -hmm. which is the biggest, but I thought it was the biggest, Kiev's the biggest. I, I went on a, that train goes twice a day. I was yeah. on that yesterday. There's like uh, 20 ambulances in, in Dnipro, but they had two shifts bringing them to the train. Uh, there was 50 at the train station mm -hmm. last night. Like, I and they had a bus just for like all the walking people. Yeah. And that shit goes on all the, like, I knew it happened, but I, ne I never thought about, you don't think about it till you see it. Okay. Do, do you know what I mean? Like it's, I knew it happened, but I feel stupid that I didn't really know how, how like the, the hospital I'm at now, and I, I, I got to sneak back in the morning. Uh -huh. There's got to be a thousand guys there. It's wow. like a big complex. It's, yeah. it's all darked out. Just like, I don't know if Kiev's still like that, what it used to be like, okay. but 
there's departments for everything and and there's a lot of guys like me mm -hmm. there's a lot of guys like yeah so what happened what like what actually happened to you like you uh, still got two arms two legs so i didn't they're kind of busy in Nipro, so i don't bother them and just let yeah. them go along with it uh -huh. um i've got something worse than a concussion um, on the traumatic brain skin they're gonna do the they're gonna do the CT scan tomorrow. Okay, I'm, I'm still talking shit like normal. Yeah, and, yeah. But it's more so the IV drip is more just for uh, hydration so now, or what? Now I'm on um, now I'm on a steroid injection. Okay. Because the eardrum, I have nothing. Oh, to compare. I have nothing. First. I have nothing to compare. Yeah. But it is healing. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's a five day thing. But but I'm getting everything. I've I've had my eyes done today. Uh -huh. I have my throat. I, I've done the audio test. I'm getting chest x-rays tomorrow like it's the whole um i'm getting the whole like uh i've, I've checked in to yeah to, to make sure you're healthy yeah. that's good okay. yeah I, I haven't had this ever in my life okay this level of like care mm -hmm. and now uh Kazibak vehicles that can support going hotter places yeah or do you know sometimes it's just with the, with the tow rope on the back like I, yeah the first one uh-huh for like one week there's mm. a one two kilometer stretch uh -huh. where the only thing that can go through that mud bath is called a unimog which is a big giant yeah the big and, yeah. and it's but like a normal ambulance i for what it's worth i felt pretty good just being the tow taxi yeah. you know for i did that for like probably four days once i think a lot of people do the mud bath yeah i think a lot of people don't think of this as an ambulance because this is just like a suv but this is what you need you can't drive like a you know ten thousand pound ambulance to you know well, the back into seats that. are in it right now yeah uh, but what, what, what will happen back seats will come out and we have modified stretchers mm. that fit like they have to be very short um because we don't have hobby bees we don't have yeah. the perfect um but mitsubishi pajero if you got the money land cruiser uh, -huh. uh nissan patrol it, a lot of times it's not medical it's speed it's speed to get together yeah. the medicine is diesel to get to the next mm, point of that makes sense well let's hop in and let's let's have, speed over to dinner roll baby was it on off this whole time uh, no 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 <laughs> it's this one's a bit of a mess because oleg i just picked That's it up right. from his mechanic yeah um so very good every time every time you come off a rotation there's always there's always something to do yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously your oil changes yeah i'm just glad there's not a bunch of blood everywhere uh, can you direct me or should yeah, i okay. see the video so you, you're talking okay. so you you happen to be filming when it well when i it keep happens. the camera in my chest rig okay and what i see i see and sometimes it takes a few hours to go through shit yeah but it's come to the point for me where boom is boring yeah i don't know if it's boring to people but it's boring to me if there's yeah. no co context okay not content but context so i just have the camera in and when i went around the corner it was just two all i felt was the heat and i remember the yellow light like what is happening here okay so you're driving were you going to your back or i was coming back down? again i was i was okay. we got nine people out me and victor uh -huh. and full disclosure i'm scared shitless of mines so okay. i had the people and the kids i said you drive first like it's just I could do oh, it, but it's just so you follow him. Follow or do you, can you see the mines or? Well, he'd successfully made it into that part of town earlier that day without getting blown up. Yeah. So, so the plan was follow the road tracks exactly. Follow the track. Um, um, follow our dust. Follow like our print, yeah, our tire yeah. print. Okay. So we did that. We got out fine. But yeah. when it blew up, it, it just happened so fast. Mm -hmm. Every gauge, every bit yeah, of glass, yeah. everything shattered. Boom, 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 like yeah. every, the electronics blew out, the fuses, even the cigarette light, I think, popped out across the. And there's, there was no cut in my trousers. Yeah. There was no cut in any of my shirts or anything. Um, but that night, I was pulling glass out of my back, oh, little no. shards of glass. I nice. had glass in the folds of my butt cheeks, oh, my inside God. my under. I had glass osmosis. You know what's crazy is I, like, I always imagined that the glass in cars is like this uh, safety glass. That is, but the side ones aren't. Really? Man. Because that all shattered and intact, Yeah. but everything popped. But, oh, and I, I asked a doctor about that in Kramatorsk at the night. He says, he says, sometimes that happens here. Yeah. Like, literally pulling glass out of my underwear, but there's no oh. cut in my, it got everywhere. Uh, but... But you know what? <laughs> like, dude, like, I can't imagine surviving an, 
driving over a landmine. Like. And the stupid things you think about. First thing I did, grab my helmet, grab my smokes, and then my med pack. But I lost my med pack. The army guys kept oh. it along the way. Okay. But I, I'm getting a new one. Uh, battalions giving me one. It's already okay. been. Oh, that's good. So that's good. They're thousand dollars, you know, to like yeah, to, well, a, a yeah. good a good med yeah. pack. Um. So that's already been covered. It's that's good. Yeah, it's good. You know what? I, I like. I'm. I'm. I think that the most important thing is you live to tell the story. Uh, you have some time to heal up. And I'm good that they're forcing you to stay longer because you wanted to go back tomorrow. <laughs> I wouldn't say tomorrow, yeah. because being in the hospital, I've made trips to the supermarket in Nitro, yeah. like it's 10 minutes away. It's not the hospital, so even sitting under a tree yeah. outside the supermarket is not prison. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I get tired, like I went and got a haircut, yeah. um, but then I get tired and yeah. cranky like an old man. I need a good... Eight ten hour day of like running around doing this uh -huh. to really know where I'm at. Yeah, okay. And I'm I'm not I'm not a fool. Yeah. But if I know I can do that, I'm going back to work. Yeah. But if I can't if I can't do that, then that's stupid. Yeah. Like what do I do? Fall asleep on, on the drive there? You know? Yeah, mate. But I'm past couple of days. I feel really good. But, your turn. but they think other. Well, I don't know if they think otherwise, but. They're, giving, they're going to do a CT scan as well. Yeah. Well, you know, what's funny about you is uh, if I didn't know you from before, I would be like, no, you're you're on it. You're like, you're, you're a bit hyper and crazy, but yeah. you've always been hyper and crazy, so. Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> caffeine, too. I, d I, haven't, I, haven't done a dr I haven't had a drink or a drug in 10 plus years. Oh, wait. I, I, except what they give me at the hospital. Yeah. But. Well. Let's uh, let's drive safely and uh, let's get some food in our bodies. Let's enjoy yeah. life. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. It's really cool. Yeah. Just hang a right in here. So it's or this thing on the corner. So maybe uh, hang a right and then look for parking. It's this thing right here. Well, you can probably just park. Yeah, it's parking. Mm, that's a bit. Not not here, but just anywhere. Boom. All right, buddy. I'm a bit underdressed. You know what? You're the you're dressed perfectly. Maybe we'll get a ten percent off military discount. <laughs> they do do that sometimes. They do. That's nice. Like I, I had to buy new clothes. Uh huh. They gave me this. Okay. Well, don't worry. I told you that if you uh, make it out alive, there's on me. So we can go to Grill do Brazil. All you can eat. What? All you can eat, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> It's like one of those, they call it Rhodesia. It's a uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You turn the, you turn the, and they just opened like two days ago, right? Yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm happy. You're a bitcher. Uh, two people. For buffet. Uh, you're not the first time, yes? No, oh, definitely not. Oh my god. Up to you. Well, we're good looking people, so you want to send the windows. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you should join us. We'll take <laughs> So guys, this place closed on February 24th uh, for the war, but it used to be one of my favorite places to come, especially for lunch buffet. And they just reopened basically yesterday. So it's been closed for, what, six months? But this is good that things in Kiev are slowly opening again. I've never seen a, a boy this happy. I'm half Lebanese. Oh. Uh, my father's, I haven't had hummus. They don't do hummus here. They do yeah. salad. They do pork. Uh -huh. Don't go crazy on the salad. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have salad, Johnny. We, yeah, what are you guys eating out there? Um, to be honest, I'm a bit... When I'm really hungry, I'll eat anything. But yeah. uh, do you know what salu is? Yeah, yeah. Pick, the, pick that. So sometimes the salu is good, sometimes it's not so good. Okay. Um, you eat borscht. Uh, okay. if, if your unit has a cook. Yeah. Like uh, on Zaporizhia front, we had two cooks. And oh, they nice. cooked over like an open fire with a pot. Okay. Very good, but it's always in a pot. There's yeah. nothing fried, there's nothing. Uh, it's the same, no, same texture every it's day. It's the same texture every day. Uh, where I was now, uh -huh. uh, the food was not so good. Okay. Well, like, and then what? Like, but it was it was also boys, but just not very good? It was a lot of like fend for yourself. Oh, and, wow. Like there's a lot of dried, it's all carbohydrate, yeah. uh, but dried 
it would have been the best bread in the world a week ago. Oh, I see. And it's, it's a lot of dried out. Uh, it just gets bored. So you end up eating cookies for comfort food. Yeah. And then I eat chocolate. I give away chocolate. Yeah. And it's not good. Yeah. yeah. It's because you don't like it. So you can stock up on things that aren't good for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, to keep you guys... Uh healthy so you guys can well that's important yeah yeah but it's 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 you don't you don't know what you miss until you until you all right well so i'll try not to go crazy on the salad bar but it looks good though right yeah oh my my <laughs> you know one more oh yeah okay why not it would be rude not to uh i know yeah okay. thank you Nice. nice. So this is what? Bananas and caramel, nice. That's delicious. Yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolute. So Brandon, I think the, the number one question everyone wants to know. Yeah. Where the hell are you from? You have such a strange accent. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll tell you what people think you're from. Go on. People think you're from either Ireland, Scotland, or... Uh, like super east, um, like Newfoundland, kind of Canada, like one of these kind of weird areas. Okay. But you, most recently, you're you're living in Sweden because mm -hmm. that's where the, your PayPal's for. You're definitely not Swedish. Nej. Uh, Nej. Nee. No, svenska. Ja, Nej, det kan ni göra. Jag är svenska. Hej, hej, hur mår du? Jag mår bra, själv. Ja, bra, tack. Bra, tack. Toppen. Uh, tusen tack. Då ska vi snacka på engelska, det är för alla... Everyone speaks English. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but you're not Swedish. No. Uh, so I grew Are you up. Are a Russian spy? I have a tattoo on my backside. I don't know if that's appropriate. That's been there since I was 16, so I can I can prove my nationality. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah. I don't know your viewers. Uh, I, Is it I, on your ass or on your back? Yeah, when I was an army recruit, my first weekend okay. away, we it was free. My friends paid for it. Oh, nice. Anyway, um, I'll leave that for later, Johnny. Okay. That's for later, babe. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I grew up in New Brunswick on the East Coast in Canada. Okay. And uh, I, um, I joined the army. And then someone said, you can join the British army. And I said, I really fancy that. And this was when the internet was like early 2000s, when it's not the internet we know now. So I got a contact and I went and I, he's like, yeah, you can do this. I did this. He was from Montreal. And then I moved to England and I never really come back. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I was in a Scottish regiment. Uh, I did a stint, brief stint in Northern, Northern Ireland uh, after the Canadian Army. Um, I've, I've got families who have adopted me all over the world, mostly Jewish, oddly enough, but this one uh, in Galway. And, and I, I used to go work at the Christmas market every year mm. in Galway in, in West Coast of Ireland. Um, I've lived in Bournemouth for many, many years in, in England. Uh, like we were talking earlier, I've lived in South Africa. I work in the events industry, so anywhere I could work, uh, New Zealand. So you were a male stripper, right? Um, in my prime, Johnny, in my prime. <laughs> I look better with the lights off now. Yeah. Don't we all, don't we all. <laughs> okay, so we were right. You kind of are from all these yeah. inauguration of places. And then I fell in love with Isabel and Corona bankrupted me and uh, she was Swedish and there was there was nothing holding me. Anything material that I thought was important was, uh, was gone. And, we moved to Sweden and got a dog okay. and we fought like hell but uh, we love each other somewhat we really love the dog yeah Masa and um, and now I live here oh oh this is the best you have please this is called service guys we have a guy bringing us barbecue meat on sticks while we while we talk yeah, yeah, why not? But Johnny told me some interesting stories about his life too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know you were into Muay Thai. I didn't know, like, your whole Thailand life. Yeah. But, but you don't know these things about people, do you? Unless you... Unless we're actually sitting down, yeah. We See, stuck him in it. Because <laughs> Johnny's a lover, not a fighter, but he, he was also a very good fighter in Thailand, as I've learned. Yeah, I wasn't that good. <laughs> I was a fighter. <laughs> I, I, was, I was good enough, but not good enough. Let's just, let's put it that way. Uh, 
Are you still with us, uh, Isabella check? Um, Are you single? It's a little complicated. A little bit complicated. A little bit complicated. But we love each other and we have a okay. dog. Oh yeah, please. What is it? Thank you. It's uh, testicles uh, from the, the cat. No, no, I'm sorry. Go for it. Oh, okay. okay, we eat it. We eat everything. Yeah. Okay. How many? Uh, oh, then. Just one for me, too. Yeah. Oh, look, maybe it's a, a, a IKEA Swiss Whip Ball. Could be. Okay. Uh, do we have any uh, Lingon silk? Should we. What do we do? Cross forks and. No, that's me <laughs> for Lingon silk. Oh, oh, oh Lingon. It's Lingon. been so long. I think we can just pretend this is Lingon. Yeah. It's what Lingon. Is it? it can be Lingon. What is it? It's close enough. It's, it's sweet. Lingon soldier. It's sweet. It's a kind of soldier. Mm. Come on, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so you never, I'm surprised you never, you never fell in love with a uh, blue-eyed, dark-haired Galway girl? Um, no, there was, there was a girl. Um, and uh, it was all short. It was all short last year. Mm, could it sell? Okay. I'll take one. Exactly. Uh, well then. You know, I'm not I'm not bragging myself up, but in my prime, Johnny, I used to I used to have I used to have a few a few few who fancied me. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. But uh, not so much now in my old age. Well, I'm sure there'll be some fans. I'll link your Instagram below for, uh, <laughs> any uh, senoritas, chica bonitas. Mm. I want to come out. <laughs> Alright, let's continue this after me because we got a lot of meat on our face now. We've got a lot of meat. <laughs> Your favorite thing in the world. Lots shut up, meat. shut up, shut up. <laughs> Turn off the goddamn camera. <laughs> Turn off the camera now. God, this is the most beautiful one we've seen so far. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kusiva. I guess you're the content creator on this one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's sexy. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm sexy. <laughs> also, you. You're sexy. You're sexy. <laughs> Everybody's sexy. Mm -hmm. But this meat is extra sexy. It's okay. Extra. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Vublaska. Mm, enough? I will have more. Enough? Okay. You know, your, your meat, it's like, you're like my, you're like my, my girlfriend. She, she made it, she made me wait for it for so long. You bring the chicken wings. Yeah. You bring the, Okay. it's nice, but. This is the sport. Yeah, yeah. Okay, a little bit more. Choo choo. Yeah, I'll have a little bit more. Choo choo. Wow. Choo choo. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Move last go. Thank you. More. <laughs> so, the first hour here, we we're just having like hummus and salads. And just like a little bit of chicken here and there, a little bit of things. But then, these motherfuckers. Start coming out with the good stuff. Mm. And we're almost full. This is how they get you guys. So, so if anyone doesn't know how this works, because yeah. I've been to these in England, uh, in Argentina, you go to a Brazilian steakhouse. Uh, usually they have like an hourglass. Mm. Uh, that's where I'll be. So you got the you got green, go, mm. red, stop. Yeah. But we're not gonna stop. We're no. gonna go green for we're a while. We're just gonna keep going. You yeah. gotta you gotta make up for what? How many months in the Donbass now? Uh, one month Zaporizhia front, one month uh, Donbass, and now two weeks, almost two weeks hospital. Wow. Yeah. So we got to make up for all that lost food. Yeah, yeah. Just pump the meat. My, I got my catheter. Just, in. Just <laughs> want to pump the meat into. Put it in a blender. We'll put the sauce in there first. All right, let's eat. Yeah, let's do it. Oh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You're probably gonna have to cut some more. The thinner you cut, the more you cut. Oh, so, yeah, double birthday. One more, one more. Why didn't they just bring all of them instead of happy birthday? Hey, okay, do you want some of mine? I'll take one of yours for now. Dig into that. What is it? Oh my god. What have you got there? Uh, it's like a ferret. Ferret. It's so cool. How cool is it? It's so cool. I took her to. I'm gonna do it. Good. We met a ferret. What's his name? Leonardo. 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 The ferret. 
Huh. Chicken hearts? I will have chicken hearts. Really? How many? Uh, Chicken. Four. I've never had a chicken heart before. You're going to have one now. I have, have one. Have you ever eaten innards before? One. one. You're going to like it or you're going to hate it? I'll probably hate it. Two. Just one, one, one. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to eat my first heart. Okay. Say hi to Kevin. Hey Kevin, eating a chicken heart. Actually, no, I don't like it. Kevin's uh, so what you said? So it was just basically because I just got a message from Kevin. Okay. Um, he's a reporter. Um, when I started Instagram, would have been like April twenty eighth. Uh -huh. No social media in years, but James Five Ash, I outed him. Uh, he's from Florida. Sent fifty bucks. Okay. But when I talked to you for the show. You sent 2,000 bucks and you didn't even know me. I didn't know, I went to my commander, there's an ambulance four man team. So as a recap, I took $2,000 from the GoFundMe money to provide helmets for the ambulance crew. So I figured it's not exactly food or medicine to people who need it, but it's giving them uh, the help. Yeah. So Johnny, there was, there was one guy, James from Florida. I started social media April 28th. And James sent fifty dollars, and I was like, "Wow, great start!" Okay. Yes, I will. I will definitely have absolute. Um, How many? I will have one. I'll have two. Okay. This is good. So one, he. Okay. One, one more. <laughs> right, right. Um, I didn't know. Do you need to put this? I didn't know what would happen with social media. I didn't know anything. Uh huh. But you sent two thousand dollars, and all I asked was for a mention on Instagram. I didn't even know what a mention was three months ago. Yeah. Um, but then I went to my commander, and I said, "Well, I was trying to raise money for helmets, but this this YouTube guy who I watch sometimes sent me two thousand. And what should we do with it?" And she's like, "Brandon, it must go to four wheel drive. This is top priority for evacuation." Yeah. And I said, "Oh shit! Well, I'll see if I can form myself out on the internet for a four wheel drive." Uh -huh. But, but this guy, Kevin, who just texted, he's a reporter in my hometown. He's actually from Prince Edward Island in Canada. Uh -huh. But I told him the truth. I told him, I left home, joined the army. I screwed up my army career on drugs after four years. I, it's on my, my couple YouTube videos. I, I've never told a lie, but he, he showed that to my hometown, told the truth. And people just like, people like the truth, you yeah. know? And, and then people were writing me and, and my hometown support, people supported me. It died off. Because uh -huh. only certain people care about Ukraine, yeah. as you know yourself now. Yeah. But like, we're gonna do another story, like, because I get blown up in a minefield, and all of a sudden everyone's interested in Ukraine again. Yeah. But so you're, you're one of theirs, you know. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about that uh, on a phone interview tonight. Oh, cool. But you know, it started with you, and then I figured, well, if I'm really gonna do this, maybe I should talk to my hometown too, which I, I haven't been in many years. Yeah. Really. And you know. You, Kevin, and, and many, many people. And total, what do you think we raised, or you've raised? Uh, all in all, vehicles, and this is not including what people have donated, like tourniquets are expensive. Okay. People just give me that stuff. Shy of 40,000 euros. Wow. Uh, cool. In three and a half. If I had to say, like, maybe 37,000 euros. And that bought two, two four-wheel drive ambulances. It's bought two four-wheel drives. Uh, it's bought the first diesel generator, which led to the diesel generator fundraiser that yeah. I'm doing now. And with with a bit more co money coming in, it will replace my truck that got blowing up. Yeah, okay. That's for the third vehicle, that's cool. Well, no, that, because that's a loaner, the yeah. one I have now. I donated that to yeah. Battalion, and they gave it to me. Okay. But, um, so, okay. yeah, but everyone's taking care of everyone. Yeah, that's good. Not yeah. always, but a, a lot of people, I mean, Cynthia, uh, yeah. Vadim, yeah. I met them through you. Yeah. Cynthia, so many times I said, I can't handle this shit, Cynthia, but she knows how to do admin. Yeah. She's helped me, yeah. you know, so. Brett, you've met Brett yeah. now through, uh, like. And yeah, yeah, I talked with Brett, nice guy. And they're never gonna be, I don't wanna say I'm a big person, but. They're never going to be as high profile as me because they don't work around the boom. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it takes three of them to keep to keep one person on the. It takes three. They say it takes about three people to keep one soldier on the front going. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, yeah. Logistics, food, medicine. Yeah. But you played a small 
but a big part in our lives in that. So. Ribeye, okay. yeah, of course. Kanye. Let's get some ribeye. Look, look it's all red, but he's like, this, these guys want beef. These guys need steak. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Oh my god. Okay, guys, we gotta eat. We gotta eat. But thank you for doing, you know, doing what you do. I'm gonna go breathe heavy after yeah. this. Yeah. Lie down, drop Johnny off. And uh, I want to say to you guys, you guys also play a small but very significant part in this war against Russia because if it wasn't for you guys watching, if it wasn't for the donations you guys made, I would not be able to have the money to give to you guys like Brandon in turn he wouldn't be able to evacuate all those people. So we are all in this together. So thank you guys, Diakuyu. And we evacuate cats and dogs. Don't forget we do babushkas, kishkas and sabachkas. Yeah. Enjoy buddy. It's all about the babushkas. Ah, cheers. Cheers Johnny. Yeah, to you. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Don't be watching us. <laughs> oh, mate. Uh, so we just met uh, Sasha and his girlfriend. Hello. Hey. So uh, you, when you, what, what do you think about like uh, foreigners now in Ukraine? In foreigners. Uh, the foreigners is dudes that are like, uh, like, yeah. For example, like he's from Sweden um, or whatever. Um, in this time, it's like very important yeah. as for me that people are coming to Ukraine just to support. Yeah. Maybe not even support like in a direct way, like uh -huh. go in front and uh -huh. kill Russian stuff. But uh, just spending time here, spending money. Uh, we, <laughs> we just got banned for uh, this kind of exhaust. You, your car? Uh, I mean, in Ukraine, Ukraine the, law, yeah. the law. Oh, but they're still doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Happens, yeah. It, it, yeah, this is Ukraine. Like, how how can you explain this? Uh, the same people, yeah. like, who's uh, giving all, all giving away all they got yeah. to protect this country, uh -huh. and other people just don't being stupid. Don't being stupid. Yeah. yeah. If let's say bad yeah. words. So yeah, yeah I, I'm very thankful, and I. Like I have no, I have no enough words to to say thanks for all people that yeah, came you, in Ukraine. You're welcome. Do you get like from uh, Ukrainians like when they find out you're you're on the front lines? What do they say to you? Um, well, the people I work with, I I never wore this flag ever uh -huh. till I got till a Ukrainian gave it to me. Oh wow, nice. in, in battle. Uh -huh. And now I oh, wear the God. flag, so it's like it's not my flag. I hear, yeah, but. I, I'm just so happy. I didn't know anyone in Ukraine, but you're good people. Like what, you share emotion there, and it's like no problem. Harry show, say Buddha Harry show. Let's fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, but if you don't mind me saying, it's your, it's your video. But people contact me because I I started Instagram. Johnny helped me with Instagram. Mm -hmm. But Ukrainians who are in Canada in America, but it was their babushkas babushka, like, yeah. and they don't they know they're Ukrainian, but they don't think about Ukraine. But not yeah. since the war, but. He speak. Most Ukrainians do not speak English, so then they see people like Johnny on the internet, and then it's a path from Johnny, maybe me, like a little bit, to you. Does that make sense? Yeah. They're like, shit, I am Ukrainian. It's, yeah, it's so you. bad, but it's beautiful. Yeah. If you don't mind me saying, yeah. if I can yeah. say so. You, I, I don't mind. You can say you are here. You are like literally, literally defending me and my. People, so you can you, you, you can, can say anything. Of me. I, I have the best. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank I you. Wish, I wish this, this was yeah. Okay. Feel like you're Ukrainian. You could, you're Ukrainian. Sebo Ukraine. Yeah, Sebo Ukraine. Very nice to meet you, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, man. Yeah, I'm happy you uh, came to say hello. Thanks. Okay. I'm happy to see you. Don't be watching now. That's nice. That's nice, right? That's really nice. That's really nice. Yeah. I think you, you, yeah. Think, you think like in Kiev, oh, all the hipsters, they don't care. Yeah. But, Some but, of them don't. But if people don't work, like if yeah. they, this is the capital, this is the money. Yeah. If this stops, the war stops because it takes money. Yeah, and that's it's true. it's not just American. It's, if this stops... Yeah. Like, and also some of the soldiers, um, like when I had Roman from Azalvi said, like when they, when this war is 
over, they need to come back to a normal civilization. Like they don't want to come back to, you know, like uh, closed restaurants. They want life to go on, you know? Yeah. As uh, Sasha 227 said, like, don't be a dickhead. So <laughs> don't drive around with loud exhaust and party all night and get drunk and do stupid things. Like you don't have to be on, like not everyone needs to be on the front line fighting. But don't make it harder. Don't make life harder for others. Like try to do what you part, but don't make make your life life harder for others. And there's a lot of people here. I don't know how many, yeah. but if if they make say two thousand dollars a month yeah. American, which is a, a good salary, yeah. they're giving five hundred a month to the art. Right? Yeah, like there's a lot of that here that you'll never know about. Yeah. So so good guys. It's there's good everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. So, is this the, the crap you guys drink on the front line? Yeah, no, this is, I drink this, I've still got like three bags of it in uh -huh. Kramatorsk, so I hope the apartment doesn't get bombed. Wait, is this instant or? It's powdered espresso, but it, it, it's got that frothiness. Okay, and at I least just, it's Arabica. I put a bit of, bit of rich milk into it. Uh-huh. And So even though you're back in Kiev, you're still gonna drink this crap? Yeah, because it's what I know. I'm a simple man, Johnny. I'm, I'm not a sophisticated person like you. Oh my God. You know what I mean? You're an air press. Because you hang around rich people like bald, who are <laughs> naughty, like Brighton types, <laughs> who have like 10 pound coffees. He, he, he drinks 10 group of coffees. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because he... <laughs> he's from Brighton, they're all, they like nothing but the best. Yeah, but he, he's nothing like that, trust me. Where's the water? Good night, buddy. Good seeing you. I love you, Johnny. Love you too. The bromance is strong. We'll continue it. We'll continue it. Guys, it was so cool finally meeting Brandon in person. Uh, I feel like I've known him so well and for so long now because you know we've been through so much together. You know, online, uh, I've been trying to support him as, in the best way I can. From here, he's been literally on the front lines, risking his life, evacuating people, providing medical support, uh, and yeah, we finally got to have a meal together, hang out. So we're gonna hang out a lot more this week while he's here. Give him a follow on Instagram, and if you can, send him a little something to, to help him out. Um, I told him that all his meals while he's here is on me, and uh, I'll have one of them come from you guys, just uh, as a thank you, because I'm, I'm sure that you, know, you guys want to help him out as well. So yeah, give him a shout, help him out however you can, and I'll see you guys next one.